about the Carolina. We get a lot of questions as well about the Carolina for the first time and not being able to get a good line, getting a little messy, getting a little wobbly. Do you have any tips for getting a nice, smooth, steady line? Yes. First thing I think is to have control over your um, brush. So if you can select a product um, with a small and short brush, not long bristles, because again, you lose control along with the bristles. And this one from Rimmel, this is Rimmel Exaggerate Liquid Liner. It's got a foam applicator, but it's quite, if you see I put pressure on it, it's quite stiff. It doesn't bend, and that means that you can get a really fine line um, and maintain control. Why, uh, why do you need the stiff head line? Why is that better? Um, the more flexible and floppy the brushes, the less control you have okay. over the product. Second tip I would say is to start in the middle of the eye mm -hmm. and then do the inner corner and the outer corner last rather than starting from the middle and going all the way along. Why is that? So you start from the inside like to the middle and you go to the out? Yes, yeah, start from the middle to the out and then do the inner corner and then finish off with the Right, okay. I think when you try and go all the way in from the um, inner corner to the outer in one, you again, you lose control over how it's going to look. You need to stop and check it out each step along the way rather than just doing the line and then going, oh, that wasn't I noticed when you put it on there that you use the end tip of the brush, like and not on the side. Yes. Why did you do that? Um, I like to start with a really fine line and then build it up in thickness as I go. And so by using the side of the brush, you get a thick line and you can't make it any finer than that. Uh, by using the end of the brush, you start with a really fine line and then you can go over and thicken that up a little bit too. Great. Right. Um, um, if you do make a mistake and you do get it everywhere, what do I do about cleaning it up? Cotton tip with some eye makeup remover is the, is the easiest and quickest way. And I tend to find take the whole lot off and start again rather than just trying to um, moderate the shape with your cotton tip. Right. Okay. Better to take it off and start again. And do I need to, like if I'm using a liquid liner, is it better to prep the eye with a with some sort of foundation or anything first? Absolutely. I think any eye makeup that you're using on the eye will always stay longer and maintain its freshness better if it's as a base of like, um, foundation or concealer. Yeah, or even 
increase the sticker tape. Okay. Just on here, once they get the angle right, you can piece of, piece of sellotape just here, and then it means you can't go too far. Right. Because often when you go too far, it makes the eyes look down to you, and it's sort of sad. So a piece of sticker tape is a good idea. Well, you'll actually get to know, if you look in the mirror and you can imagine that line, you'll, you'll get to, to, um, to be like, oh, you can put a little dot. I'll put my dot about here, and that's the place where I'm going to come up. So just short to... lines and yeah. kind of joining them together. That's exactly right. And then I'm going to build up sort of an edge on here. So it's kind of a little bit thicker on the end, isn't it? Oh, quite a bit thicker. Yeah. Yes. And then just looking straight ahead for us, you can start see, start see how that's getting that curve. And down again. And then by joining up those lines, you get to start to see that, that cat's wing. So that you're not actually coming in from 